lovely people welcome or welcome back to my channel if you like if you're new here and you like what you see please consider subscribing if you have been here before thank you and welcome back today i am doing a video of the three must-have winter fragrances that are in my perfume collection and i just love and i can't wait to share it with you to let you see that the three fragrances that you must go buy i have right now just three of them that i'm showing you my favorite winter ones i have others but for right now i'm showing you the top three that i am like in love with right now one is linderit i believe i'm saying the name right this one here is a spicy floral i never thought first of all um hope everyone is doing well i have my little um notes on here so keep me remembering because you know it's hard to remember all the keynotes and stuff like that but yes this is indoor from givenchy i love the bottle you see how red and mysterious and sexy it looks love the bottle and this one here is a floral which i never thought before i had loved florals but i am so in love with florals right now but these are not like flowery florals that you smell. You smell bouquet of flowers and it's, it's like a spicy floral, which is way different. Trust me when I tell you way different. So yes, the scent type is warm florals. The keynotes is sandalwood, orange blossom, and turbo rose. Turbo rose. The favorite's description is turbo rose and jasmine are ignited with a fairy red accord of pimento leaf, blood orange, and ginger leaving the fragrance with floral spicy trail embraced with the thrill with linderant El de Parfum Rogue. This one's called Rogue because they have other ones that are like a lighter pink or whatever because a uh, different one. This one here is Rogue. Linderant from Givenchy Rogue. Um, sensual and incandescent perfume for women that unveils unveils a white floral bouquet tinted in red this perfume here um when i initially sprayed it this one here i had seen on tiktok i didn't smell this one beforehand i didn't see it at any stores to have samplers from or this one didn't come from the samplers that i tried during the winter before the holidays and stuff that I kept trying all these samplers. This one wasn't one that I had in a sampler. So I brought this one blind eye um, in Sephora. And when I tell you when I initially sprayed it, I was gonna take it back, I'm not gonna lie. Because I'm like, mm, I don't like it. But I was like, do I not like it? Cause it was like, I don't like it and I do like it. Like, what is this? But the more I wore it, the more I was in love with it. I was smelling it all day and I was loving it. So it lasts all day long. I got compliments when I wore it and I was in love with it after. And I was like, hell no, I ain't returning it. <laughs> I like it and I'm keeping it. So yes, this is a very um, beautiful scent for winter time. I wouldn't wear this in the summer, but it has a unique smell that, trust me when I tell you, you're gonna when you spray this you're gonna be like i smelt this before or something similar but it's different it's unique and it's it, people are gonna notice you when they wear this one trust when i tell you but if you don't you know want to just buy it try it out before you buy it so the next one that i have is replica by the fireplace this one here i got for free this little size bottle from the sampler that i got um from the samplers that i had purchased i got this one for free I had a choice to pick one and I chose to pick this one and I was in love with it from the sampler they have a, a big collection replica does but this one was my favorite um from the samplers that I received I had got this one and another one um but yes this one is not an L de perfume but it lasts all day when I tell you this one this one has you know i can't really smell it smelling it like that but like this one does but yes this smells like a fireplace like you're in front of a fireplace with a sweater on light with a romantic date or something like this one smells so sexy oh my god so sexy like it's definitely for winter time it this one here is a warm and spicy scent type is warm and um warm and sweet gourmands, gourmands. Keynotes is clove oil, chestnut accord, and vanilla accord. 
Fragrance description, it, this is warm scent combined with orange flowers, clove oil, and chestnut atop a comforting vanilla fragrance to recreate the signature warmth and coziness of a crackling fire. Yes, this is like, oh my God. This, it smells like a woody, it has a woody smell, but it smells so good. Like I've never smelled nothing in my entire life like this one here and i would have never thought that i was a spicy um you know a spicy fragrance lover i always thought i was fruity 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 all my life but i feel like um fruity is more for the summer and more florals and spicy but a spicy uh floral not like a flowery floral is clearly one of my signature scents now and um yes this one here smells so 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 good you could wear this one all day long morning time evening time um date night whatever you want it's like totally in the winter time and i also get compliments when i wear this one i smell it all day long on me even though it's not an l Dead perfume because l Dead perfume lasts longer than the other um perfumes and last but not least we have uh my number one top favorites that i have right now this one here i got in a sampler from the perfume samplers that i've been trying out i have three valentinos right now that i own but this one was the first one no this one was the second one that i purchased actually because i smelled the other valentino which i'll do in a later video this one was the second valentino that i smelled i just felt in one of the samplers and i just felt in love with it and I had to go buy it. This one here is so different and sexy. Like, oh my God. This one is also a perfume that you can wear like all day long. And they all are really perfumes that you can kind of wear all day long. But this one, I believe, is out of these three, the only ones that I feel like you could also wear in the spring, fall, and even summer um, as well. And this one's a floral, a warm florals. And the keynote for this one is black currant. Jasmine, Grat Gratiforum, Bourbon Vanilla. Fragrance description is a warm floral fragrance inspired by a Roman street style edgy hawk couture. A trip of jasmine flowers and sparkling black currant and sparkling black currant fused with warm vanilla and rich woods to create a scent that captures the essence of modern femininity. This one here smells so good. I had never smelled a perfume like this one. This is unique, different, sexy. Oh my God, this is like, the bottle is just adorable. I think this is the biggest size they have because I love this so much. I was like, I'm going to buy the, the biggest size. You see how cute the bottle is? They got little spikes here, little glass bottle. It's just so sexy and so pretty. And then the color, it makes it look even prettier. But yes, this one here is gonna be in my collection. They all are, but this one especially is gonna be in my collection forever. This is gonna be one that I know I'm never gonna get tired of. And um, when I wear this one, this is one of my favorite, um, my husband's favorites. All kinds of compliments from people when I wear this one. It's, it lasts all day long. This one is also an Elder perfume. And yes, these three perfumes are a must for the wintertime. Trust me when I tell you. Oh, yes, yes, yes. But yes, I have a collection of perfumes now, and um, I will be doing a video on that at a later time. But right now, these are my three top winter fragrances that every and any woman needs in their collection. Let me know if y'all have any favorites that you believe I should try out um, that maybe I haven't in the comment section. So I'm into perfumes now, so I definitely will try any of them out to see, you know, add to my collection. So yes, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you have a wonderful day and I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.